in this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Or just like that. Just like that. Just one know. bolt. One bolt. Up. 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 We show you how to reinstall rotor blades on an experimental rotorway helicopter. Coming up. During this year's Rotorway Gathering that hovers around Lake City, Florida, we have the opportunity to meet many new passionate aviators that fly rotorcraft. Now, unlike most fixed-wing aircraft that fly to fly-ins, many helicopter owners choose to trailer their ships to the destination and do a little, let's say, light assembly on site. Which is great for you and I as we get to learn something new today. Hi, my name's Mark. This is my ship, and we're going to put the blades on a Rotaway 162F. And what we have here are some stands, they're speaker stands, and we modified it a little bit and put it to hold the end of the blade so we can crown the blade as we put it on. And we put one bolt in the blade that holds it. It's a 5 8 bolt, and it, it'll hold the, the blade on, and then um, the pitch horns will hook up to the two levers and that's what pitches the blade once you put it on so there's just two bolts in each one secret is getting everything lined up just perfect it helps having two people but if um, if you don't have two people you can do it yourself but it, it makes it a little more difficult we got to push it out of the Slide it back a little bit. All right, so see, we're just sliding it back and we're going to. You can hook that hole in the blade strap right on one little bolt. Put your hand on the block. And it won't move. All right. Hold on a minute. Put that on the ladder. Okay, you can see how the blade just sliding into the, the pin. Slide it in just like that. You get it? Yeah, that yeah. one in. That's the way it's supposed to work. Just like that. Just like that. So just one bolt. One bolt. All right, I'm going to stop you right there just for a second. Let's talk about this. It's always bothered me or concerned me in a helicopter that you have one bolt holding the entire wing on. I say wing because that is the wing on a rotorcraft, right? The rotor is the wing. And a fixed wing, let's talk about fixed wing for a second. Is it all that different? Because you have an entire wing held on by a strut or a wing root. If one bolt fails there, I guess the wing's coming off too. So they're really same, same. And then here's our pitch horn. This is what will actually pitch the blade when you're, you know, the blade pitches. Um, and so you hook this up and that's what your control on your collective down there which right. is up and down. Just, just two start bolts. Your, start your nut on there. It's just bolts and then you have to static balance it, correct? That should be done already. already there, oh yeah, the balancing everything's all done. This is just putting the helicopter back after transportation, after we've taken them off. You do not haul the helicopter with the blades on. So you just, this one, one bolt here and uh, goes right on there. There's a small bearing in here, isometric bearing that is uh, in there in the, in the pitch block and like you say, see how it pivots in there? Right. And uh, this bolt is what holds all this in and this is all reinforced and torqued. So. And that's the, that's the better. Hey guys, one second. Hey guys, you've probably seen me traveling a whole lot these days. What makes all this possible, getting this original aviation content, is sponsors like these. 
Dynon Avionics at DynonAvionics.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Airworks at AirWorksAviation.com. Avionation at AvionationUSA.com. Check the description below for links to these great companies. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. If you like these videos that we are producing weekly, give that like button a click and engage all notifications so you don't miss a single episode. There's the, um, here is the bearing we were talking about that goes in to make everything run smooth when you're in the pitch block. And this goes in there when the bolt goes down through this, that's what makes the blade, you can see how it moves there. Okay. And that makes, and that's the pitch block. And again, this so all that moves together. And this make, keeps your blades from chattering and, and, and running smooth, I guess is the best way you could explain it. It's a thrust kind of bearing. So, anyway, put this in. That just slides on a pin in here. So you gotta make sure you put that in correctly. And then the bolt will go right down through. You can see how it, it pivots and runs so nice and smooth. Yep. Okay. All right, now we get the blade. Right, you're going to go out, and I'm going to go in first. All right. What airline were you? Southwest. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that makes it a little easier for short guys like us, right? Yeah, you can start off with this one all the way down. Oh, okay. That bolt hole, you can hook on that first little bolt on the top, and it won't go anywhere. You see it? No. Well, it won't. It's at too much of an angle. I can't get to it. Climb up another step. Yep. You raise this. You got it? Up. Up. Yep. Up. Up. We're trying to line this pin up here. I don't know if you can get the camera on it. But yeah. Up. 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 Yeah. It's not even. I know, but it's not there. All right. Now you might come just a little down. Lock this down. All right, so after you torque these in place, you got what, you, what you do is kind of check some for uh We're going to take the stands off. Oops, so you got your other wrench? Okay. Yeah. Let me just make sure this don't move. There you go. All right. And you torque that to, was that 70 foot pounds? 70 foot pounds yep. on the blades. Yep. Got one bolt. Now we got your blades. Okay. All right. Good. It's kind of a weird thing. You wiggle one and the other one moves. Mm -hmm. and wiggle waggle. Try the other one, wiggle the other one. Okay. That means it's nice and free in there. So what's the next step in this? Pitch links. These the rods we were talking about that we already know we got a good wiggle waggle here. We've got free bearings and everything that's running. And call this pitch is, links. These are pitch links. Okay. And, and and what this basically does then on your collective in there when you you know you lift you know to lift your it controls the pitch of the blade. Yeah, the squash plate. The bottom part is what they call the fixed squash plate, which is connected to the cyclic control. Okay. Then there's a big bearing there, and there, this part spins. Right. So that's what adjusts your blades. The pitch length goes from here to the blades. This part of it is stationary to the aircraft. But when I move it, look at that. I'm going to move the, the cyclic. Yeah, so I'm going to catch, capture that, yep. I'm doing this. Okay. Let's see what it's doing. Yep, see the blades rotating? Yep. Got it. Puts the pitch on both blades at the same time. 
clearing the lot next to you. Somebody bought that, so you can have Okay, there's some shims between this pillow box and, this, and the shaft. Without the blades on there, one of the things you do is you want this to be free, but you don't want it too free. So there's a scale, like you put it up here without the blades, you hook a scale on there, and it's supposed to be between 10 and 12 pounds to be able to start moving this. Okay. There's also an adjustment, because of the shims, you can adjust this head back and forth. You want it in the center. There's a tool we put on here, we can measure this. So what do you use for a zero ref? To find we have center. A, we have a little tool that we put on here. It's okay. got a dial indicator. It goes and touches the shaft. Okay. You see what you got over here? You put it on the other side. So it should be the same. If it's not, then you got to mess with shims in there to get the head perfectly centered. What do you, what do you use for shims? Like a copper or a brass or something? Uh, or? There's there's a it's Delron. It's like Teflon and a metal one, and they're like a sandwich. Okay. Put one in one. And just keep swapping. So you do that. That's one of the first things. And when you put the blades on, well, you can do it on a, on a stand. And Bob's got a little stand that makes because down here you don't have to do it up here. But then you do a balance, which you really need because you really need to take those shims out of there so there's no friction. And you balance the blades. There's little weights inside the tip of the blade. So you just put it on the stand inside a closed building and just see where they're level. You got to level the shaft up. And if one's heavy, say this, this one falls down like this, you would take the weight on that end and grind it off a little bit until it stays level. Is it, is it lead or steel? Or it's what just a piece of steel. steel. You'll see the, there's two screws sticking on the bottom. I'm afraid of that tip. On the bottom side. There's a little steel weight in there. Yeah, that's the Gotcha. So when you first set this up, you're going to grind whichever side is heavy. That's how you get the balance. And then you're going to do the, what they call a lead lag, because from the hub, you can lead or lag the blade on the hub with all those little set screws on the side. And once you get that done, you saw before we did that wiggle waggle, that's what you're looking for. Because otherwise it flops to one way, so you just keep adjusting that back and forth until you get that wiggle waggle. And then you're pretty much done with the static. And then you put it on and you put the machine on here and we do the tracking and the, So the, the wiggle waggle I think is an official uh, engineering term. That's a term, yeah. And <laughs> why it works I, I have no idea. That's a term everybody but, understands. Yeah, okay. we all know that. Uh, why it works I have no idea. Some, some physicist or somebody will tell us. Phil Blah. Phil Blah. And then it happened to be mine too. What are you wrenching on that blade? We're uh, right now the collective pressure takes a lot of pressure to hold the collective up. So we do the first five panels of each blade. We tilt it up, it's like a control surface on the blade that makes it fly up, so it takes that, that pressure off. So you're doing just a rough, rough adjustment now to yeah, see? Well, yeah, well, we're going to we have to try it. I mean, we did a couple yesterday, so I'm putting another 10,000 on it right now. Okay, you're, you're, so you're actually... We got a little gauge here. Yeah, okay. So we're roughly 30. The tip won't stay there usually. It just goes away. So we're going to try this. And we may end up doing it, doing it again. We did it a couple times yesterday.
All right, well, I hope you learned something new today. I know I did. And if nothing else, hey, watching helicopters hover is just simply awesome. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I invite you right now to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single episode. We create original aviation content here. Thanks for joining me in this episode. I'll see you the next one. Remember to check out our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com where we have merchandise. Support the channel by taking a look at the links below where you can buy official EAC merchandise. And find us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.